Hey, what's up guys? Worldwide here tonight with another new video. And we have a bunch of different topics to talk about tonight, so let's jump right into it. For the first topic tonight, we can talk about the PDC and the World Series of Darts Finals. And I don't want to give a lot of spoilers here in case there's some of you that haven't seen the matches yet. But as always, you can go over to Theo's channel and check him out. He has all the matches uploaded, so that's worth a check out. But the big thing I'm interested in, and I'd like to hear from you guys, is while you're watching these, the quarterfinals, uh, the semifinals and finals, let me know what you guys think about the crowd noise and how the crowd acted towards the players, especially while they were throwing. Now, my personal opinion is the crowd, they're going to be loud anyway so you have to deal with those conditions but you know what the one thing that pisses me off is when you're getting ready to throw the dart and you got some jackass in the audience that whistles like that real screeching loud whistle oh man that does my head in but anyway let me know what you guys think about that and as always go over to Theo's channel and check out all the matches and actually yeah speaking of Theo check this out this is over on uh, Social Blade this is Theo's channel, so we'll scroll down. Look at the day he had. 144 new subscribers, and he actually blew right by me. He's up to 9,700. So he's actually going to be hitting the 10,000 subscriber mark here pretty soon. But what a crazy day. That's awesome. 144 new subscribers, and it's only 737 here at night. So he's got like four and a half more hours to add to that. Just crazy. His channel is absolutely blowing up, doing really well. So that's awesome to see. Good for darts, good for the fans, and good place to go check out the videos and for the next bit of news we're going to head over to twitter and this was so amazing today guys check this out adrian lewis after his defeat today we'll actually start with this guy credit to you for this q a especially after defeat so yeah that's right adrian lewis he lost today so then what's he do after that he went on twitter for like three or four hours and just answered all these questions from fans just amazing this cracked me up big time and i think it was one of the most popular ones i go most you ever bench pressed he's like what's that only machine i've used in the gym is the vending machine but anyway yeah look at this i'll scroll up all these questions honestly he spent like three or four hours talking to all the fans just an amazing person i mean that's really maybe not something you'd expect from a two-time world champion number three ranked player in the world but so much credit to him and i've gained so much respect for this guy just so nice takes the time out for the fans and like i said three or four hours today just talking with everybody he must have answered about a thousand questions so so awesome of him to do that Another one to follow over on Twitter is Eric Bristow. And as you guys know, he just tells it like it is all the time. He keeps it real. But he's been having a go recently. I don't know if he was drinking a little bit, but this was funny. Vandepass beats Smith 6-3 to three without cheating. That's good. And what else we got here? Oh, he was having a little go today with uh, Little Richard. So he was uh, getting pretty personal here. I think there's still, I mean, obviously a lot of animosity with um, the BDO from years past. But there he is having a go with Little Richard and... Asking him, are you BDO or the PDC? And good to see this BDO sent their eight best this year and still none will get through. So there's, you know, typical Eric having a go late at night. But yeah, totally funny and highly recommended that you follow this guy because you never know what you're going to get. And for the next story, I'd like to give a big shout out to Darts Weekly. Now, they produce an online magazine and it's available for free every Friday they come out with it. This last issue was super interesting. They did an interview with Glenn Durant. You know, that's definitely worth a read. Now, I'm going to have the links in the description box or in the comment section so you can check them out. You know, if you ever get bored of YouTube videos and you just want some different news that you won't see anywhere else, definitely check these guys out. And they have all their back issues available to read. And the format is awesome, too, because check this out. You know, you flip through, you can zoom in, super easy to read, and uh, it's just a great format. But anyway, yeah, if you want to check them out, like I said, the links will be in the description box. And it's really good reading there. Highly recommend it. So, uh, yeah, check these guys out. Darts weekly and for the next topic we're going to head over to reddit darts and I, I brought this up last week a little bit i talked about the new winmob blade 5 dual core but this was posted by darren from darts nuts now check this out Oops, we're going to scroll down a little bit. This is, he did a uh, comparison of the different sizes between the Blade 4 dual core and the new Blade 5. Now check this out, the old Blade 4 segment, this is the double segment, 8.6 millimeters, 8.64. And the treble segments, almost 8.8, 8.76 there. Now check this out, this is the new Blade 5. Now this is weird too, I didn't mention this, but the double segments, he measured quite a few of them and they're all around like 9.8. So they're 9.2, but the treble segments are way bigger. So that's weird. Look at that, 9.72 millimeters. Holy shit. That's almost a full millimeter bigger than the Blade 4 dual core. Now you're thinking, oh, millimeter, who cares, right? Not that much of a difference. But check that out. I mean, when you're only talking 9 millimeters and then you add a millimeter, I mean, what's that, 
what, like 13 or 14 percent bigger? Something like that? That was just a guess, but... And it's kind of odd that the Winma would build a board that had these huge treble segments. Now that's bigger, 9.72. I think that's even bigger than the Unicorn board. But So 9.72 there, but why would they make the double so small? So anyway, that's going to be real interesting this year when the uh, BDO World Championship comes along. I think the average is going to just absolutely skyrocket. I mean, if you're talking percentage-wise, that's a massive increase. You know, if you're talking just oh, a millimeter or a half a millimeter, it doesn't seem like a big deal. But when you start talking percentage-wise, Man, those things grew a lot. So anyway, just an interesting picture there, and it's nice to see the difference between the Blade 4 and the Blade 5. But man, my personal opinion, those uh, those averages, they should skyrocket. That is a huge friggin' treble segment. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about that. And for the last bit of news, we're still over on Reddit darts. And if you check this out, this is the Red Eye Rhino Premier Cup 2. And I don't, to be honest, I don't know a lot about it, but look at this. $15,000 first place payout. So that's actually bigger than a darts live. If you win a darts live event, I think you get like twelve or 13000 US dollars. This is $15,000 they're playing for. And I'll have the link for this. You guys can check it out. But they're supposedly streaming on YouTube. I don't know if they still are. They were having troubles with their stream. So yeah, it looks like the stream is offline. But um, yeah, there's a tournament bracket you can check out and uh, you can find out more information about it. Like I said, I don't know a ton about it. But yeah, we can check out the bracket here. And I think, let's see, we've got some pretty popular names. you got Butler, Tom Sawyer, Benjamin Durst, DJ Sayer. So if we go over, it looks like uh, this is a weird. It's double elimination tournament, too. So Jeremiah Millar is in the king seat. And going down into the loser's bracket, it looks like, uh, let's see, David Fadham and Willie Walker are going to battle it out to see who goes back to play Jeremiah Millar. So anyway, those guys are going to be battling out for $15,000. That's huge. So anyway, if you're interested in knowing more about that, check it out over on Reddit Darts. But I guess that's it for this week, guys. And we'll catch you on the next video. Later.